So now we have both our Lambda functions ready to start and stop an EC2 instance. Let's go to CloudWatch and schedule an event to start EC2 instance and then another event to stop EC2 instance. So I'm inside the AWS management console. I'll go to CloudWatch or I can go via the services route. I can type CloudWatch over here. On the left hand side, you will see events and then there is rules. So we are going to click on rules. I'm going to click create rule and here we are going to select the event source. And I'm going to select schedule. And over here we are going to select cron expression. Now we want a cron expression to start an EC2 instance every morning at 5 a.m. So the cron expression for that will be 0, 5, star, star, question, star. So it will bring up all the next available running times. So tomorrow it will run at 7 a.m. So basically we want to start our EC2 instance. So for we are going to click on add target. We are going to select the target as lambda function and over here we can select the lambda function and we are going to select start EC2 instance. Then click on configure details and we are going to name our rule state would be enable and then click on create rule and I made a mistake the name should not have any space and then click we'll click on create rule again and so now the uh, we have created a rule to start EC2 instance so tomorrow morning the EC2 instance will start now let's create a rule real quick to stop an EC2 instance and then we are going to see what each and every star in the cron expression means We're going to select the destination as stop EC2 instance lambda function. Configure details. Stop EC2 instance. Create rule. So we have created two rules. One to start an EC2 instance and stop an EC2 instance. So now let's look at the cron tab expression in the next video.